Matthew Bezicek here with the first agronomic update for the 2023 season. And the hot topic that we got right now is waterlogged soils uh, due to excessive rains after planting. Uh, as you can see behind me, uh, quite a bit of moisture up here. We are just south of St. James, where after a planting date of May 2nd, they have received seven and a half inches of rain. And we want to talk about what might be happening with your nitrogen. So the most common forms of nitrogen applied out here are either manure, 32%, urea, or anhydrous. Now, manure, most of that manure is applied in the ammonium form. And depending on the date to which that manure was applied last fall and whether or not a stabilizer was used, some of that nitrogen could be converted over to the nitrate form. The nitrate form is the one that we're worried about potentially losing in situations like this. Now, 32%, 25% of that is already in the nitrate form. 25% uh, of it's in the ammonia form, and 50% of that's in the urea form. So it, the conversion of nitrogen goes from urea to ammonium to nitrate. So uh, soil temperature dictates how fast that process can go. And early on in the spring like this, yes, we have had some warm temperatures, but it's still a gray area as to how much uh, of that urea potentially could have been converted all the way over to the nitrate form. Now, urea, like I just explained, it's gotta be converted a couple steps. And then anhydrous is the other one that we are usually putting on somewhere in that six to eight inch soil depth. And the soil temperatures down at that level generally don't warm up as fast as what they do in the top couple inches for where like a 32% in urea and potentially that manure was applied. Now. The forms of loss that we're most worried about here is leaching and denitrification. Uh, leaching is obviously the pass through of moisture down through the soil profile into tile lines uh, and just pushed away from the root zone to where the corn uh, plants can grab it. Uh, denitrification is when uh, soils become waterlogged and oxygen is excluded and anaerobic decomposition of the nitrate occurs. Basically, it just gets released up into the atmosphere as a gas. Uh, those are the things that in situations like this that we are most worried about. Now, what we use or what our team uses is a program called ADAPTEN to really try and hone in on how much loss occurs in situations like this. Uh, please talk to your account manager. If you're worried about how much nitrogen you've lost, give us a call. Let's have a talk. Let's potentially utilize an ADAPTEN type tool to see hey, what do we need to potentially come back out here and replace with? If we still have high aspirations of yield goals, you know, it's real early in the season and we have a lot of time now that we can maybe tweak and fix this. Now, in conjunction with nitrogen, we still talk about sulfur too. So if you are planning on doing some type of uh, nitrogen application to kind of pick up what we may have lost, uh, definitely consider sulfur. Uh, ATS is half sulfate, half elemental sulfur. So that sulfate form is immediately potential for loss and 100% of the AMS that we applied is already in a sulfate form that would potentially uh, have the opportunity to be lost. So keep that in mind, uh, stay tuned. I'll have some uh, attachments in the email send out with this with uh, more information tied to the topics that I talked about and stay tuned for the next agronomic update.